I just woke up from the best sleep. Oh, I love getting a good night's sleep. Hey, have you ever wondered how other animals sleep? Like you and I, we're diurnal. <laughs> That's an interesting word. That just means that we are awake and active during the daytime. But some animals are nocturnal. Nocturnal means that those animals are awake and active at night. Hey, that's pretty cool. Could you imagine being awake all night, but then sleeping through the day? Oh, that would be weird. And speaking of weird things, when you and I sleep, we lay down, usually in our bed. Yeah, but some animals stand up. Yeah, so they stay standing while they sleep. Huh, seems kind of uncomfortable, doesn't it? Oh, I have a great idea. Would you like to explore how other animals sleep? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go. Friends, so let's start with an animal that is opposite of us, that is nocturnal. Yeah. Hmm. What animal can we start with that is nocturnal? A kangaroo. Yeah, most species of kangaroo are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night and they're very active and that's when they live out their lives. But during the day, they like to sleep. Yeah, and when kangaroos sleep, they like to find shade because they live in Australia and Australia can be very, very hot. But aside from needing shade to sleep, they also like to stay concealed. Concealed means they need to stay hidden, and they're hidden to stay safe from predators. Yeah, so kangaroos are nocturnal. Wait, here's another really fun fact about kangaroos. A joey, or baby kangaroo, look how cute he is. They sleep in their mommy's pouch which is right there on their tummy. Oh, that is so cute. I love kangaroos. All right, let's see who else we can talk about. What about lions? Oh, look at that big shaggy mane. So that mane means this is a boy lion. Yeah. And boy lions can sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. So if there are 24 hours in a day and a male lion sleeps 20 of those, huh, that's kind of a long time, isn't it? Yeah. So female lions, however, sleep a little less than male lions because girl lions are responsible for doing most of the hunting for the pride. Yeah, go girl lions. <laughs> so like kangaroos, lions are also nocturnal, which means they're awake and active through the night and sleep during the day. Also like kangaroos, they live in a really hot environment. Lions live in Africa, and Africa can get really, really hot. So when lions do sleep the 18 to 20 hours a day, they tend to do it in really shady spots to stay cool. That's a silly lion who gets a lot of sleep. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's talk about a couple of animals that you and I might see on a more regular basis. I mean, unless you live in Australia or Africa and you see kangaroos and lions, that would be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I might be a little bit jealous. Huh. Okay, but animals that we see a lot of here in the United States are horses and cows. I love cows. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, so just like us, cows like to lay down when they sleep. They like to get nice and comfy in the grass. But unlike us, cows only sleep for four hours a day. That's not very long at all, is it? I wonder what they do with the rest of their day if they only sleep for four hours. Huh, that's a lot of time for playing and eating, isn't it? Yeah, huh. Okay, so we see cows all the time and they sleep for four hours lying down. But what about horses? Yeah, I love horses. So horses only sleep for about three hours a day, which is less than what a cow sleeps for. But the really cool thing about how horses sleep is they sleep standing up. Yeah, have you ever tried to sleep standing up? Well, I haven't, but I don't think it would be very comfortable. How do they not fall over? Huh, that's kind of weird, isn't it? We should probably look into that. How do horses not fall over when they sleep standing up? Huh. I'll post the answer to that question in our comments below. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> All right, cows and horses. One stands up to sleep and one lays down to sleep. So let's talk about another animal that stands up when it sleeps. Yeah, the super tall giraffe. So giraffes stand up when they sleep because their necks are so long and their legs are so long that it takes them a lot of time and a lot of effort to stand up once they're sitting down. And giraffes live in a pretty dangerous neighborhood. So if a predator comes along, they need to be able to move really fast. Yeah, so they sleep standing up. But how does a giraffe, who's really tall, not fall over when it's sleeping? Well, this one I know the answer to. So a giraffe only sleeps for five minutes at a time. That's like a really quick little cat nap, isn't it? Yeah, and giraffes only sleep 30 minutes the entire day. Well, that's not very long. That's not even like a regular nap. But that's what they do. 30 minutes a day, five minutes at a time, standing up. All right, friends, so let's talk about one more animal that stands up when it sleeps. An emperor penguin. Yeah, these big guys stand up when they sleep. But just like a giraffe, they don't get very much deep sleep. No, they sleep for five minutes at a time. I don't know how these animals do it sleeping five minutes at a time. I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> but these guys, because they live in Antarctica, where it's really cold, ooh, they like to sleep in groups of penguins so they can get body heat from each other. Yeah, and did you know 
a group of penguins is called a rookery? That's an interesting word, isn't it? Yeah, so penguins sleep standing up five minutes at a time in a group called a rookery. Huh. Oh, look at that funny little guy. <laughs> that is a bat, and bats are nocturnal. Do you remember what nocturnal means? Yeah, nocturnal means that they're up and active at night, but they sleep during the day. But a really cool thing about bats is they sleep upside down. Yeah, they hang on with their feet, wrap their wings around themselves, and go to sleep, hanging upside down. So why do bats hang upside down to sleep? Well, even though bats have really big wings like birds, they can't stand on the ground and flap their wings to take flight. They need to climb up to high places, open their wings, and catch the wind in order to fly. Yeah, so hanging upside down while sleeping in trees, in caves, under bridges, allows them to escape really quickly if a predator should come by. All they have to do is open their wings and take flight. All right, friends, so up last, we have a very special type of a bird. Yeah, that bird is the great frigate bird. So not only are these birds absolutely stunning and beautiful, but the cool thing about a great frigate bird is that they spend months at a time flying. Yeah, so they spend months in the air with their wings out like this, just flying around, and they don't land. Huh. That's also really exhausting, isn't it? Yeah, so how do these amazing birds sleep if they're always in the air? Well, they take really short naps for seven to 12 seconds at a time. Yeah, seconds. Let's count seven seconds and see what kind of nap these guys get. Are you ready? Yeah. That's not very long. Would you get a lot of sleep in that time? I sure wouldn't, but somehow these spectacular birds make it happen. So with very short few second naps every day, they sleep about 40 minutes per day while they're out flying the skies for months at a time. Wow, friends, that was so much fun. I learned so much today. Thank you for going with me as we explored how animals sleep. What was your favorite animal to learn about today? Hmm, well, I really found the giraffe interesting and the great frigate bird as well. Huh, I mean, I kind of liked them all. How about you put in the comment section below which animal you like learning about best? Yeah, that will be fun. <laughs> all right, friends, that's the end of this adventure. But if you want to continue exploring with me, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.